All right, so sometimes there's times that you want to draw something that's kind of like not just a square or something. Uh, so I'm going to actually draw a square. Uh, just actually, not, there's nothing to extrude. So let me draw sketch this plane. And I'm going to draw like a box that you want to put stuff in. Uh, so let's draw this box. And I'm going to dimension it out because it's always good practice to dimension things. I'm going to make it a five inch box. It's a pretty good sized box. And it's uh, five inches this way as well. And I want uh, a walls on it, so I'm going to put another box here. And uh, oops. And I want all the walls to be a certain thickness. So the thickness of my walls is going to be, I don't know, let's go quarter inch walls. Those are pretty thick. For 3D printing world, that's pretty thick. And. Let me do this side too. So this is something that you guys should all know how to do at this point. It's a draw like if you wanted to draw a box to put stuff in. So I'm doing the walls first. You could have started with the floor if you wanted to. There, so all my walls are a quarter inch thick. The outside is five inches, but the inside is not five inches, just to give you guys a heads up. It's actually like four and a half, because uh, you take a quarter inch for this wall and a quarter inch for this wall. And so the inch is four, the inside of this box is four and a half. So if you intended it to be five inches inside, you'd need to make this bigger. Uh, but for all intents and purposes, we'll just go there. Uh, let's see if I can do an isometric view because it always looks better. And uh, let's go to extrude. And let's extrude that wall. There we go. And I don't know, I'm going to make it uh, five inches high. Doesn't really matter. There we go. Uh, but it needs a floor, doesn't it? So I'm done here, but it needs a floor. So let me rotate this around. And I'm going to say start a sketch on this surface right here, the flat surface right there. And let's rotate around to that direction so I can see it. And quite easily, let's just take this square and click the outside corner and the outside corner. And it's notice it's already black, fully constrained, because it's a, it's a square, corner to corner. So it really has no nothing else to dimension. Let's extrude. I have to exclude. I just want to show you that I have to do both. That's just the way it is. So I have to choose this, but I have to choose this too, so I can extrude all of it. And then I want you to show what it looks like. I'm going to go down only a quarter of an inch, just like my walls. Uh, so there we go. There we go. And it should be a nice clean box now, isometric. There we go. And if you want to see inside, look it. It's got a little bottom there. All right. So at this point, let's do something new. So you guys should have been able to do this already if I told you to draw a box of whatever shape. So there we go. We have a box. But what if I want to put maybe um, I love Nike earrings. So most people collect Nike shoes, but I collect Nike earrings, and I have this little box I want to put this stuff in. So uh, I want to put all my earrings in this one box, and I want to 3D print it, and I want it to say Nike on the side. So how would you do that? Like, get it to say Nike on the side? Well, there's a lot of cool ways to do it. Here's the most way, the, the way that gives you the most flexibility this way. So the first thing you got to do is, like, go find a, a, a symbol that you want. So you could do this one. It's going to take a lot longer. I'm going to do this one because it's faster, okay? So there we go, and I'm going to say save image as, and I'm going to save it on my desktop, and we'll call it Nike logo. Sounds good to me. Then I got to go back to on shape, and here we go. I'm going to start a sketch on this plane right here. So let's say that's where I want the Nike logo. Now I got to click that right side so I can rotate it around, move that around there. And then here's the new thing right here, insert an image right here, insert an image. And I had done a McDonald's earlier for practice, uh, but I need a new one. So I'm going to go to import right here. And then let's go to that uh, Nike symbol. Well, it should be, it should be here. I thought I put it on my desktop. Let's see, Nike. I spelled Nike wrong somehow. There it is. Okay, so Nike, show it to me. There we go. I don't know what took that so long. Um, so there's the Nike logo. So now I got to select it. Now look what it says. It says draw image rectangle. Okay, so I have to draw a rectangle. Let's try that. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I just draw the size. There we go, and I can move it around to where I want. Let's say I want it right in the middle-ish. And I'm sure you can use dimension tools to get exactly where you want it. Um, and then I'm going to uh, then I'm going to push check mark done. 
I want this one on a different sketch. So I'm not going to sketch my shapes on the same one. So now I'm going to do a new sketch and click this plane. Hey Joseph, you want to sit right here? That's my son, guys. Um, and then, uh, so once I do that, um, I can trace it out. Now if you have really complex curves and stuff, the best way to do this is spline tool right here. Okay, so click spline and click where you want to start. Let's say here, and you want to, if there's more, the more dots you use, the more accurate this will be. So I'm clicking, I'm clicking, I'm clicking. See how it bends in junk? Clicking, clicking, clicking. This is pretty straight, so I can go a little further on these. Clicking, clicking again, and at the end, I'm going to double click. Click, click. Done. The reason being is you could actually keep going, but it's going to cause a weird curve. You're not going to get that sharp edge. Plus, you don't want to do this forever because if you make a mistake, then you're like, oh, I got to trace that whole thing over again. So I would end at certain spots and just and then start a new spline from there. So I can start from here. I can start from here. Notice I'm still in the spline tool up here. So I can just go ahead and click here. Make sure you connect on the old dot. See how I'm stuck to that old dot? You want that because remember, you need a closed shape, right? The shape has got to be completely sealed or it won't let me extrude it. And you'll see a little bit more. So I need more dots here to get more accuracy on these uh, bigger curves. So these, when there's sharper curves, you're definitely going to need more dots. It will curve. So it went outside the line a little bit, but that's okay. And here is pretty straight. So I can really go a little further here. And then look at when I finish, I got to click, see that last dot? I got to make sure I click that last dot so it's sealed. Double click it to finish it. And hopefully it's all grayed out, which means I can extrude it. So let's push finish. Now I'm going to go to isometric view. Now, I don't, to see that I'm doing it right, watch what I do. Remember sketch three? That's the one where I put the Nike symbol picture. Watch this, see the little eye? There we go. See how it went away? Click the eye, the picture goes back. And we could delete this later on if we want to, completely delete it. At this point I'm just hiding it so I don't need I don't need to see it. Then I'm going to go to extrude. Extrude, and I'm going to click that shape, and I'm going to say remove. And if you want it to go all the way through, you could. Um, I'm going to say like 0 0.05, like pretty thin, just a little bit of dent in there. And then I get that cool effect right there. You guys see that? So it, it went in just a tiny amount. And I could have done the whole Nike sign and everything if I wanted to, but it would have taken a little bit more time. And I think you guys kind of get the point. Uh, the, definitely make sure your shapes are closed, though. That's, that's where students have the biggest problem, where they're like, it won't let me extrude. And let me give you a quick example of what it won't, when it won't let you. So sketch. Sketch this face. Let's rotate to it. I'm going to do a spline right here. And I to do this right, to extrude, I have to connect it right there. But I'm not going to. There we go. You see how it's not closed? See that's open? Now watch this. So from far away, it might look like it's closed, right? And then watch this. I'm going to click extrude. It's not, it's not letting me extrude this. Why not? Because it's it's open right here. You see that? So now I have to go to sketch five, double click it to edit it, and add some sort of spline or something. There we go. And then it should be completely finished. Now when I extrude, it will let me. See? Now it's letting me extrude. So that's what I was talking about. So I don't want this anymore. I'm going to right click on it and delete that. And uh, that's pretty much it, folks. Not much more to that.